please stand? Gas, will you please stand?
Good evening. Please stand for the presentation of the colors and our national anthem. Excuse me. At this time, he's asked that you please give attention to the colors, so please pay attention. Good evening. There we go. Please stand for the presentation of the colors and our national anthem.
Please be seated. To our superintendent, Dr. Curtis Jones, Jr., Bibb County Public School board members, our school administrators, Mr. Young, Mrs. Hurley, Mrs. Sewell, faculty, family, friends, and most of all, good evening to the best, the Southwest Magnet High School graduating class of 2022. Thousands of thanks to all in attendance. Your hard work made today possible. Thank you parents for being our foundation. Thank you staff members for being the vehicle of our education. And to my peers and friends, congratulations. Graduation is not just the end of a tough journey, but the beginning of a beautiful one, though life seems fit to make us fall. Let this moment stand as a reminder to the resilience of every one of you, getting through this pandemic was no small task. For all the times of late night studies or sacrifice of enjoyment, the reward is here. My wish for all of us is that this life becomes better than it is now, that it becomes all that we want it to be for each and every one of us to start each day knowing without a doubt that we are capable of wonderful things. In this crowning moment of our time here, we invite you to this great tradition of Southwest Magnet High School and Law Academy in raising my generation of intelligent, resilient, and confident young men and women. Thank you. My fellow graduates, teachers, family, and friends. Y a mis padres, los amo y espero que estén orgullosos de mí. It is my honor to be standing here as the Lutatorian of the class of 2022. Thank you all for being here to mark this special moment with our class. These are the people who have helped us be where we are now. Graduation is not the end, it is the beginning. We all know our enemy COVID. See, COVID did not really affect us as much as last year, but we still all struggled, but not one of us gave up. COVID is a worldwide issue that cannot stop us from succeeding. So this means we can overcome anything. For some of us, we had to learn behind the screen, stay focused without having the urge to get distracted. Yet, we made it. We all waited four years for this day, watched each class graduate while we wished it was us. Well, now we are here and going out into the world, starting new beginnings as adults. Our graduation should serve as a launching point, projecting us towards our future. Some will further their education while others start their career. Life is a journey. We don't stop growing once we get our diplomas. Life is about growing and pursuing our dreams, giving us opportunities to grow economically to better ourselves so the lessons we learned here will go with us for the rest of our lives. We may all say that we hate high school and we can't wait to get out, but the truth is nothing is ever going to be the same and we will miss Southwest. Some of you may say you will not miss it. However, one day you will because life was easier being in high school when you don't have as many responsibilities, but once we step out of this place, things will change. No more staying with parents, no more just working part-time. We'll be working full-time to build a life of our own. Some of us may have already had a taste of that life because not everyone's life is the same. But I bet you, if you ask them, they will tell you it's hard. So I wish every single one of you the best of luck and I hope everyone achieves all of their dreams. Congratulations, class of 2022.
I would like to thank my teachers, the front office staff, my friends, my family, my parents, Stephen Ballard and Tamika Hardin, and God. My fellow classmates, I'm honored to stand in front of you representing the class of 2022 as valedictorian. We made it. We finally completed the first chapter of our life. For the last four years, we stuck together as a team. Think about how far we have come individually and as a class. Looking back at our freshman year, it seems like it was yesterday. We were getting booed by the upperclassmen. Although that was our first and last pep rally, as a class, we continued to have fun. Like No Cap says, still working, I don't know when it's gonna pay off. Our time at Southwest has finally paid off. We have faced many challenges and obstacles that we have overcome. Tables turn, we live to learn. It was during our 10th grade year when COVID came out of nowhere. A pandemic shut us down. We did not know when we would return back to school. There were times when virtual school became isolated for some of us, but we still got the job done. They told me high school was gonna go by quickly, but I had no idea it would go by in a teens meeting. Southwest has brought out the best in us. Bunning with new friends, meeting new teachers, experiencing new things every day, and we were unaware of the great memories that we were making. My memories of winning Miss Freshman, Miss Sophomore, Miss Junior, Miss Southwest, and Prom Queen, special shout out to you all for making that happen. Most importantly, let us not forget that we have the honor of being Mr. Young's first graduating class as a principal. Patriots, we have pushed P by showing progress, being passionate, and persevering. We have been working extremely hard for this without letting up. Being named number one does not make you rocket science smart. There have been many times where I would study in my previous class just before a test to make sure I was ready or when I wanted to give up completely and just stay at home. You all pushed me to the limit to keep me going each day. Will this be our last time united as a whole? I hope not, but if it is, I want to encourage each of you to enroll in school, become employed, or serve our country by enlisting. I hope we all excel in life. Pele said, success is no accident. It's hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, and sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you're doing. Graduation doesn't mark the end of our chapter. It opened doors to begin our future. Congratulations, class of 2022. Well, good evening to the best, good evening to the Southwest. As I look out to the sea of faces in front of me, many different things flood my mind. I see family members and friends who have anxiously waited for this day. It may be at this moment that you, be, that you realize that this is just a milestone inside of many more milestones to come. And I thank you for putting your trust in our school and in this school district. To the Southwest Magna High School and Law Academy class of 2022, my first graduating class as principal, I just have one simple question. How you feel? Good. What? Good. What? Good. Well, I too feel good. I feel good looking at your beautiful faces and your beautiful graduation regalia. And to that, I say congratulations. Thank you for staying the course amid unpredictable circumstances. I told myself I wasn't going to talk about COVID. But as I reflected, it dawned on me. COVID has become an important part of your story. For many, COVID may be viewed as a thief, an entity that stole a year of your high school career. Something that left you many times wondering, what now? But then it came to me. We shouldn't dwell on what we miss. We should focus on the things that we gain. When I look back at the class of 2022, the first word I think of is resilience. I see a group of phenomenal young people who can adjust to anything at any moment in real time. Resilience is a skill that you will need for the rest of your life, the ability to bounce back quickly. Bouncing back 
is what you demonstrated time and time again during the last four years. From canceled events, changed schedules, logging in, logging off, your lives have been adjusted multiple times and you still made it to this day. So some of you may be saying, well, Mr. Young, why didn't you say perseverance? Believe me, I know you persevered. However, the word means something totally different from resilience. Perseverance means to persist, to keep going despite any obstacle in your way. So the act of persevering is a separate skill all of its, all of its own. And yes, Kayla, you've gained that skill as well. Trust is another skill that, that was gained. Trust is a firm belief in someone or something. You have also demonstrated this skill repeatedly. I thank you for extending your trust in me, the leadership team, your trust in your teachers, your trust in each other, your trust in yourselves. I share my vision for Southwest, and you were there with me every step of the way. Community was the theme. Ubuntu was the battle cry. I am because we are. Ubuntu embodies, embodies everything you have achieved today. So understand, you are never alone. You're here because of someone else. Someone believed in you, trusted you with a plan, persevered with you, demonstrated resilience when it was needed. And your success represents them just as much as it represents you. The three skills gained, resilience, perseverance, trust, will secure your future success as you begin to find your place in the world. Whether you will be employed, enrolled, or enlisted, embrace each day as an opportunity to achieve the impossible. See what the world has to offer outside of making build. Own the decisions that you make. Don't be afraid to change your plans for good. Live life to the fullest by trying new things. Take care of your mind, your body, and your spirit every day. Give back. Whether it's a little or a lot, give back. And most importantly, always show your patriot pride. And that's P for personal responsibility, R, respect, I, integrity, D, determination, and E, excellence in everything that you do. I'm extremely proud of you. And most importantly, I love you. So now, for the last time as a collective, I'll leave you with one final message. This has been your graduation charge. Make it a great life or not, the choice is yours. Now, will you please stand? As principal of Southwest Magna High School and Law Academy, I certify that these young women and young men have satisfied the attendance requirements, Carnegie Unit's requirements, and have met all of the requirements set forth by the Georgia State Board of Education. They have received the recommendation of the faculty as eligible for graduation. I now present these candidates to Superintendent Dr. Curtis Jones. As superintendent of the Bibb County Public Schools, I certify that these young women and young men have satisfied the attendance requirements, Carnegie Unit requirements, and have met all the requirements set forth by the Georgia State Board of Education and are eligible to receive diplomas. I therefore present them to Dr. Thelma Dillard, president of the Bibb County Board of Education, and declare them eligible for graduation. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. By the authority vested in me by the Bibb County Board of Education, I hereby declare these young women and young men who have satisfied the attendance requirements, Carnegie Unit, unit requirements, and have met all of the requirements set forth by the Georgia State Board of Education as high school graduates with all the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining. 
You may be seated. Valedictorian, Honor Graduate, National Honor Society, Distinguished Military Graduate, Peyton Anderson Scholar, Kayla Shamaria Hardin. <laughs> Salutatorian, Honor Graduate, Brenda Jasmine Martinez. Honor Graduate, Fine Arts, Distinguished Military Graduate, Ashley Nicole Stevens. <laughs> National Honor Society, Law Academy, Civic Engagement Distinction, Daniel Murphy III. Dennis Jawan Aiken. Fine Arts, Nasir Jarkis Albritton. Tania Giselle Alcarez Garcia. Anaya J. Monet Chantrice Alston. Youth Build Program, Janelle Renee Andrews. Soraya Jewel Arzu. Hayden Amari Bean. Jarnesia Brianna Berry. Honor graduate, Reach Scholar, Layla Alexis Danae Black. Youth Build Program, Jasmine Ariel Bonner. <laughs> Honor Graduate, Xylus Arion Breeden. Jason Blaze Brooks. Carlos Melvin Brown. <laughs> Willie Sherrod Brown. <laughs> Civic Engagement Distinction, Carlos Antonio Burnett, Jr. <laughs> Fine Arts. Clarence Burnett, Jr. Shadaria Tamaya Butler. Distinguished military graduate, 
Timothaya Isaiah Caldwell Bailey. Trayvon LaShawn Caldwell Bailey. Demarcus Raquan Childs. Jayla Keon Chisholm. Jamar Arian Clayton. Shamar Avion Clayton. Damon Christopher Clowers. Takayla Nateria Clyde. Fine Arts, Zykeria Daisha Clyde. Daishayla Shanai Colbert. Dontarius Nehemiah Cone. Jasmine Dion Cook. Brittany Beloved Cooper. Felicia Kiera Cornelius. Felicia Kiana Cornelius. Stephen Michael Cotton. Michael Dwayne Darby. <laughs> VIP Academy, Nicholas Jante Davis. <laughs> Nyasia Denise Davis. <laughs> Taisha Lashavius. Davis, <laughs> VIP Academy, Malia Tania Dean, Clinton Gerard Dennis, <laughs> Distinguished Military Graduate, Zania Najay Duncan. Jayla Camille Eason. Elena Franchelle Evans. Jermesia Nicole Fisher. Zyterica Adasia Fleming. Kevon Romello Ford. VIP Academy, Maya Carnesia Foster. Wesley Tremon Foster. Zaire Tanija Kalis Gray. Fine Arts, A. King Carlos Grayer. Yeah. 
honor graduate, Acacia Latrice Hammonds. Carvetta Tierra Hardin. Charlton Jermaine Harris. Youth Build Program, Kasdan Thierris Hawkins. Arzion Naswan Henderson. VIP Academy, Honesty Kavon Hickson. Fine Arts, Antonio Leroy Hightower. Ashley Anna Hill. Marquise Darren Hill. Honor graduate, CTAE Student of the Year, Kenaya Nicole Hollingshed. Jessica Lakira Howard. Malachi Javiel Hudson. Jawan Daniel Cortez Jackson. Kyle Malik James. Nayambia Adeja Chanel Jennings. Camilla Rotrice Johnson. Jarnaya Sherelle Johnson. Honor graduate, Fine Arts, Civic Engagement Distinction, Kimora Sheree Johnson. Diaja Denise Jones. National Honor Society, Civic Engagement Distinction, Denia Amira Jones. Quintarius Sherrod Jones. Tristan Dexter Joseph. De Gabriella Noelena Kendrick. Samaya Kyasia King. Shalia Love Lavender. Zamani Simone Lawrence. Roberto James Lopez. Al Nigel Laquane Malloy. Luis Alberto Martinez Zamora, in absentia. Distinguished military graduate, 
Ruby Nikea Mathis. Briandon Lakaya Maxwell. Distinguished military graduate, Aljanae Davida McAfee. Tyvion Amari Meadows. Fine Arts, Derek Dorrell Milton. Orlanda Destiny Mitchell. VIP Academy, Caitlin Janae Moore. Janisha Shannon Morgan. Justin Gabrion Mosley. Jayla Niasia Oliver. Civic Engagement Distinction, Tanaya Nicole Oliver. Valerie Jasmine Ortiz. Fallon Ivana Storm Outlaw. Honor Graduate, Law Academy, Civic Engagement Distinction. Alteron Maurice Palmer, Jr. Fine Arts, Natalie Lynn Patrick. Taisha Goodman Pilot. Distinguished Military Graduate. Darius Javon Pete. Jakari Charvez Poole. Niasia Katori Rawls. Fine Arts, Dontavian Jabari Relaford. Brian Deshaun Ross. Shakira Tananche Ross. Zara Arlise Rump. Demonte Dontrell Searcy. Shania Monet Searcy. Law Academy. Travion Kentrell Searcy. Marquez Antonio Stanley. Matthew Akeen Stevens. Nathaniel Kendrick Strong. Carmika 
Lyangel Sutton. Brittany Lyasia Swint. Tiffany Nicole Swint. Brianna Jemiah Taylor. Evan Elijah Thar. Civic Engagement Distinction, Baraya Shalant Thomas. Brian Brooks Thomas Jr. India Patrice Thomas. India Jamise Tinsley. Rashaya Ann Benson. Ashanti Desiree West. Javon Pharrell Whitehead. Janaya Brenda Wilburn. Jalen Curtis Wilburn. <laughs> Jeremiah Wayne Wilkinson. <laughs> Darius Eugene Williams. Davian Nikhail Williams. <laughs> VIP Academy, Jeremiah Elijah Williams. <laughs> Lamid Brishan Williams. Distinguished military graduate, Nashanti Makai Williams. <laughs> Honor graduate, Fine Arts, Civic Engagement Distinction, Talisa Antoinette Williams. <laughs> Mikhail Latrell Wimberly. Great niece. Great niece. Miriam Webster defines greatness as the quality or state of being great. One can be great in size, skill, achievement, or power. 
This is what I believe the class of 2022 is capable of, of achieving. Think about how far we have come from our freshman year to now being our graduating senior. Surviving COVID, spending our junior year at home online learning virtually. Do not become another stereotype. Dream big and know that anything is possible with hard work and dedication. Faith without word is dead, meaning you can believe all you want, but without actions behind your hopes and dreams, nothing will ever come of it. It all starts with you. You are in control of your life. You determine how people view you, and most of all, you create the path you want to walk along. Today marks the beginning of a transition into the new world on our own. Life is a process. It is an ever-changing journey, a journey that requires patience, smart decision-making, and perseverance. Do not think when you wake up tomorrow, you should have your entire life together. Take each day at a time, work hard, and don't give up. Take a minute and sit in this moment. Cherish it, because you will not be here again. As I look out, I see future college graduates, entrepreneurs, CEOs, educators, doctors, nurses, mothers, fathers, and the future of our generation. Know that this is not the end, because when one door closes, another one opens. Maya Angelou said, nothing can dim the light that shines from within. Go forth and shine your light. Please join me in, stand, in singing of our alma mater. Classmates, at this time, your tassel is on the right, symbolizing the knowledge we have gained as students. In a moment, we will move it to the left side to remind us of our duty as members of an educated society and the responsibility we now hold in our hearts. to you the Southwest High School Manning and Law Academy class of 2022. 